welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, it's the third day of having my septum piercing, and I thought it would be super cool to kind of let you guys know how it feels, the process that it's been going through, how the cleaning process is going, and all of that. Okay, so to start off, I would like to say that it's definitely healing, I would say, really good. Like I said, I've really had a really good piercer. Um, she did amazing to the point that the healing process, everything is just going really smooth. Um, so I really, really appreciate that. Um, the things that I would say, it kind of, the healing process for me, I feel like takes action like while you're sleeping like meaning you feel the pain like at night you feel um the irritation at night you feel like the itching kind of like you can feel that it's doing what it needs to do which isn't necessarily a bad thing because you're able to obviously um your sleep you want to sleep so you're not really worried about it but as far as throughout the day as long as you're not touching it or playing with it it's pretty chill and it's doing its thing most of the time so pretty much the things that i could do obviously you saw in the previous video it's pretty much just move it around comfortably now not to the point where i'm moving it around comfortably now but what i'm gonna say is people who want a septum piercing or if you want to help it heal obviously don't overdo the touching and fucking with it like let it do let it do its thing but also teach your body to get used to it and what i um realized that helped for me is don't be like soft as fuck like trying to touch it you have to be a one full on get the piercing and move it train it move it See, that doesn't hurt, but I'm going to keep it completely A1. The first three times I did that, that shit, it just stings and it's uncomfortable. So, yes, it's a feeling of like, fuck, you know what I mean? Like, shit, you know what I mean? But you have to understand, if you're not moving it and if you're not doing certain stuff, when it does move, how else do you think it's going to feel? So, what I'm saying is try to train yourself and try to change train um your nose and your piercing to understand you know like you're safe here you're you're good um you're gonna adjust to this you know because your nose and your body has to adjust to it so but why i'm saying is grab both of the ends and be legit hold pressure onto it so it has that support and you're not feeling everything happen so detailed instead it will just be a motion of just you're in there this is what you need to do you need to learn how to be flexible in this way so yes so what i learned with that is just of course wash your hands don't overdo it like i literally did that really right now i was um, don't overdo it but at the same time remind yourself that that's really necessary even like with my regular nose um ring like at first like i wasn't touching it da -da 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 -da, and then like my one um person or whatever um told me like you know you have to like move it up and down so like eventually i would start like just moving it because there was a point there was like a good four three five years where i wasn't touching it and every time i would touch it it would hurt but obviously if you're not doing something you know it's the same as with everything with uh working out within um a skincare routine within your seeing your money work within seeing your nails grow whatever whatever it is you want to see you have to always be consistent with showing it that self-care and that love is what i'm saying showing an affection showing it that i know you're there um let's not be acting like you're not there you know what i mean so yes yeah, so i would definitely say for the third day it's definitely healing great i honestly haven't washed it with soap at all um i'm gonna be completely honest how i wash it is plain water i just get a napkin and i just wash it accordingly to what it needs to be washed just as if you're cleaning your nose but clean this area and just clean everything out um and also what i what i noticed to help is if you want to just get like a little bit of vitamin e oil don't overdo anything um but just kind of you know what i mean put it right there put it where it's like 
it get, feels comfortable and it's not dry because the one the last thing you want is for anything to be dry that's gonna hurt like fuck so don't you don't want anything dry you want to keep it wet if you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm just like so yeah you want to keep it wet and ready to prosper so thank you guys so much for watching just this quick video i definitely will keep you guys posted when i'm confident enough to change it obviously i'm definitely gonna wait a few times i honestly like this silver jewelry i'm not gonna front of course when i see other ones i'm gonna be like oh shit now i know why this was just some simple shit um but yes yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching have a good day and like subscribe and stay posted on my journey